Hello brothers and sisters Christ. I wanted to do another Bible by the Pond. And it's a beautiful day out here today. So turn to uh, 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 15. It's going to be a memory verse today. Okay, remember these verses are for us to hide in our heart. I got the plaque on here that brother put on there for me. It says, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. It's God's word that we need to hide in our heart. We need to stay in this book daily and we need to start memorizing verses to have on our hearts that we can be able to say them on the spot. Okay. These are good verses. So we're going to start, uh, start in verse 12. This is Paul talking to Timothy. But the memory verse is verse 15, but Paul talking to Timothy. Verse 12, And I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who hath enabled me for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry, who was before a blasphemer and a persecutor and injurious, but I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. And great and the grace of our Lord was exceedingly abundant with faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus. And here's the memory verse. For this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. He came into the world to save sinners. Brothers and sisters of Christ, I have gospel tracts. You can get gospel tracts. I have the booklet here, How to Be Saved and Know It, by Bro Brother JT put this out with a lot of Bible verses. I give this more to people who profess to be saved, and I give this to people who don't profess to be Christians. Okay? Uh, one side it says for the way, it has a picture of hell, and it says, Time is running out, are you ready? For the wages of sin is death. Hell, and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast in the lake of fire. And then on the opposite side it says heaven, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. For there is one God and one mirror between Christ, between the man, God and man and the, the man Christ Jesus. Okay, God came into the world to save sinners. The worst thing you can do is, brother and sister Christ, is let people who aren't in that, you know, when you go to preach the gospel to somebody and they take up a lot of your time but they have no intention of getting saved because they don't believe that they're that bad of a sinner. Remember, Christ Jesus came in the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Okay? For all of sin comes short of the glory of God. But the second part of this verse where Paul says, whom I am chief, he's not talking about present tense. He's talking about before he got saved. That was the context of this. Paul's saying, if God saved me, chiefest of sinner, dirty, rotten, filthy, low down, no good sinner like me, and I'm talking about me, he can save anybody. God can save anybody. When you go to witness to people, make sure that you're not forgetting the state that you were in before you got saved, what kind of man you were before you got saved. Oh, the world doesn't want the gospel, I'm not going to preach it. We're still supposed to be preaching the gospel today, brothers and sisters Christ, no matter how much this world says, I don't want it as a whole, there's still somebody out there that needs it. There's still somebody out there that God's waiting for us to go and preach the gospel to him so we can get that last soul saved and whew, up we go. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1 says, And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sin, where in times past you walked according to the course of the world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace are you saved, and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Okay? He saved us. We were wretched. We were horrible, brother and sister Christ, but he saved us. Okay? This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Get that verse memorized. Get it in your heart so you can preach the gospel to people when you're out there. When you get out there, give out gospel tracts. Now's the open time. Okay, I was able to walk into buildings today. I haven't been into uh, Fred Myers in over a year. And I walked in there and was able to leave gospel tracts. I was able to give the, when I got gas, I was pumping gas, I gave the lady up there a gospel track. I pray she reads it. Uh, we need to be giving out gospel tracts to everybody. We need to be witnessing as much as we possibly can. We desire to go home. We want to be go home to our real home. So remember... Just keep remembering this faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came in the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. 
So grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and my love for you, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for watching.